Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Pine B Alba! Yeah, welcome to the show again. Malcolm Turnbull is still copping plenty of flack over the postal vote on same-sex marriage. The latest attack is coming from former PM John Howard. Defence Industry Minister Christopher Pine and Shadow Infrastructure and Transport Minister Anthony Albanese join us now. Good morning, guys. Nice to see you. Good morning. OK, morning. to you, Christopher, first up. John Howard has ramped up his attack on Malcolm Turnbull. Um, it's been called the great fraud of the same-sex marriage debate. An attack by John Howard. It can be lethal. Well, Carl, John Howard's allowed to campaign as much as anybody else is, uh, and he has an opinion. Uh, whether his opinion carries the day is a matter for the Australian public. It's not a question of John Howard v Malcolm Turnbull or uh, anybody else, quite frankly. It's whether people believe that two people who love each other should be able to get married. It's That's a pretty the, strong attack, though. He says, how will you protect parental rights, freedom of speech and religious freedom? And as he contends, have you washed your hands of responsibility in those matters? Well, of course not. And that's why if there's a yes vote in the postal plebiscite, and I hope there will be, because I think two people who love each other should be able to get married to each other, mm. then we will have a bill that will protect the rights of churches not to marry people they don't want to marry, or anybody else for that matter. Of course we can do that. It's not beyond the Parliament. We've done it many, many times before. That's why how we make laws. We will protect the freedom of speech of people and, of course, the rights of people to choose whether they do or don't marry uh, couples. Well, th this is a pine and elbow issue, not uh, versus. We're together on this, as are most Australians. And what's interesting is that the opponents of marriage equality are raising every issue mm. except for the only one that's before the Australian mm. people, mm. where the two people who love each other can give that commitment in front of friends and family. That is all this is about. And I'd encourage people who have their ballot papers, who have their survey, to, get out and do it. to vote today. Yeah, agree with you. Yes, from me as well. OK, Albo, there are reports this morning that all four of the big banks, plus mid-tier banks, have been used by illegal money laundering syndicates. That wouldn't be a surprise to you. Another argument for a royal commission. We <laughs> need a banking royal commission and I don't know why the government is resisting this. Why it will that... happen. Let's get on with it. Why was that funny, Chris? Because if there was a royal commission into money laundering by the mafia uh, through the banks, it would take years and years and years to report and to do well, anything. They already so know fact, that some of the banks have been The last thing we need is a royal commission. We just need the police, the police and the people, the officials who look after uh, fraud to do their job, and I'm sure that's what they're going to they, do. They already know a royal some commission banks have been would be fleeced. a fiasco. Complete waste of time. Well, they already know some banks are being fleeced. Good. Well, then the police should uh, prosecute those people who are doing the wrong thing. They know the extent of it. That's their job. But the Royal Commission's not going to get to the bottom of that. It's got I don't know to do why with. the government's determined to defend the banks. People well, we're not. know. People know that we need a Royal Commission. Let's get. No, they don't. Let's get to the bottom of this. That's in the interest, frankly, well, in, of the banking and financial years. sector as well. Oh, well by the way, uh, Chris's yes, point on time years, frames, yeah, it, it would, it would take a long time. Oh, to that's a nonsense. The evidence before a Royal Commission comes out as the Royal Commission is taking place. And you can have That's government rubbish. legislation and action while the Royal Commission okay, is happening. Let's We're keep getting moving. on let's with keep it, moving. Anthony. Um, Your Labor wants Shorten, to talk about it. Albo, Bill Shorten came under fire accused of lying about energy prices. Do you stand by his words? Josh Frydenberg claims prices have actually decreased. Well, let uh, the public out there watching this show judge whether they think prices have decreased or increased. They all know that prices have increased under this government's watch. They said they'd fall. They've gone up. Was it just shows the government's out of touch. Was Bill Shorten lying? Not at all. The fact is he's in touch with the Australian people more than the government is. He's just is. making things up. And then he made it up. We well, all know that prices have gone up. We all pay electricity well, bills. Well, why, no why did Josh Frydenberg no say didn't. that prices here in Sydney have gone up by one dollar? He There'd was be talking about a different this period of time knows that that's not the case. Okay, Malcolm, but... Malcolm Turnbull said yesterday, we all know electricity prices have gone up. Bill tried another Medi-Scare campaign that's two days ago. Okay. He made up the figures that's and he got nonsense. caught finally, again. Finally, guys, he can't be trusted. He's shifty. He knows that prices <laughs> finally, have gone up. Finally, a big victory, big victory this week uh, for significant media reforms over a decade passing in Parliament. Gee, it's taken some time. Um, Chris, how do we know that, uh, that too much, there's not going to be too much power in the hands of a few? How can you safeguard that? Well, it's another big win for the government. We are getting on with our agenda. Now media law reform. We have quite a list now in the last 12 months of significant achievements because we're working with the Senate. 
These media reforms will give our Australian businesses the chance to compete with the big things like the Google uh, and others who have been uh, coming into our market. How good's the Google? The Google. The Google. I the love the Google. <laughs> I'm big on I the bet Google. You do. <laughs> you've, you've been, you've been Googled, Christopher. <laughs> Quite like the Intertube as well. I use that. <laughs> I don't even need to go Ma there. Malcolm Turnbull <laughs> invented the interweb, actually, <laughs> according to this mod. Oh, you guys are so onto it. Thank you, guys. Appreciate yeah, your time today. Technology is our thing. Okay, we're going to be with you. They're all over this new stuff. Yeah. <laughs>